Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Safi and uh, we are going to take uh, the topic defostration. As you can see in the picture, different pictures of the plants are shown there. To understand the term defostration, first have a look at the picture shown here. You can see in this picture and then the later on picture. What difference do you see in these two pictures? In the first picture there are a lot of plants but in the second picture you cannot see any plant. It means the first picture is showing a habitat full of life and in the second picture the life is crippling. Now the fact is at the moment almost 31 percent of the land area is covered by the forest. Forests are the vital source of oxygen and they provide homes for the people and the wildlife. Many of the world's most threatened and endangered animals live in these forests. Forests, especially the tropical forests are the home of millions and billions of people and animals. Approximately 1.6 million people rely on the benefits from the forest like they are providing fresh water clothing, traditional medicine, and shelters for the human being. Now to fulfill these needs, humans are cutting the plants and trees every day. That is decreasing the number of plants. This cutting of plants and trees is called deforestation. And main reason for deforestation it means are collection of wood. Now collection of wood can be for the furniture, it can be to burn as a fuel. Also another reason for uh, deforestation for the cutting of plants and trees is cleaning the land for the farming because humans need to grow different types of the food. To fulfill their uh, food needs. Also, another reason of deforestation is uh, to clear the land for the cities. Also, to clear the land for the mining to get different minerals from the uh, earth. Humans need to clear the land. All these uh, needs of the humans are taken to deforestation. So now we can define deforestation. Cutting down plants and trees is called deforestation. And main reasons of deforestation are to collect wood to make furniture, to collect wood to burn as a fuel, to clear land for cities, to clear land for mining. Now in this diagram uh, you can see top 10 countries with the highest deforestation in the world. Top countries list is shown here like uh, Brazil is on the top uh, that is going with more deforestation. The other list of the countries it shows here in the diagram that you can see. Like the current situation in the Brazil is lot of deforestation is happening because of the fire. Like in this diagram you can see a case study of Amazon forest uh, how deforestation happened from 1960 till 2013 in Amazon forest. Like in 1960, you can see <coughs> the colonials began establishing farms uh, within the forest uh, via slash and burn methods. What they did, they tried to burn the different forest uh, just to get the land. In 1917, uh, construction began on the Trans Amazonian Highway paving roads and making it easier to transport timber that also lead to a lot of uh, deforestation. 
and from 1990 till 2000 total area forest lost in amazon rose by 160000 square kilometer to 587000 square kilometer of which 70% used for livestock pasture in 2005 uh, use of satellite data has helped the government slash deforestation by 80% by allowing police to pinpoint illegal activities in the forest in 2030 the satellite data reported a 28% increase in deforestation to 5.843 square kilometer compared to uh, previous years here you can see the main causes of deforestation once again the first cause as we early discussed clearing lands to build building uh, and houses the second reason uh, felling trees for woods agriculture and other land uses like the first one the top one reason is clearing the land for building and housing as in the modern world population is increasing day by day so countries restore to deforestation to cope with increasing demand for housing brought about by growing population second uh, logging or simply cutting down trees for timber is one of the main causes of the deforestation people are cutting the plants and trees for uh, wood they want to use this wood for different purposes to make the furniture to make uh, different uh, household items the third main reason is agriculture as uh, human population is increasing demand of food is increasing so people are uh, growing more crops different types of the crops and vegetable and for that they need more agricultural land and on that basis lot of uh, uh, forests have been cleared and there are many other uses like building the dams industrial projects mining that are leading to deforestation look at this diagram this diagram is showing uh, the world population in 1960 the world population was only 3 billion which increased to 6 billion in 2000 and is expected to reach 9.6 billion in uh, 2050 the current world population is almost 7.2 billion according to the un report till 2050 it will reach to 9.6 billion it mean uh, f- um, this duration the demand of houses increase so to cater to the increasing housing needs many restore to removing rainforest to create the land lot of parts of the land were cleared for this purpose that increase deforestation an increasing demand of uh, houses led to different uh, industries over the years the uses of wood moved from the wood fuel to construction materials like shelters and furniture today almost every household has something made out of wood like floor tiles cutlery musical instruments furniture so almost everything in the house we are using is using wood somehow so that is leading increasing the demand of uh, wood so with this increasing demand of wood uh, cutting of plants and trees is increasing increase of population is also uh, taking to increase of food demands which leads to clearing of land for palm oil and other crop plantations so farmers are clearing more land to grow more and more foods this diagram if you look is showing different situations where clearing of land is for the food purposes in our next class inshallah we will talk about the effects of deforestation